Okay, so last playthrough of this, I just, you know, followed everything the narrator said. So I'll just skip through all the boring intro crap. And you know what? This time, I want to check out that broom closet. So I'm extremely worried about Chris. He was stuck in the broom closet. Let's see. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hey, wait. Where's room 430? I heard there's an achievement. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Whoa. You're kind of an ass. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, mm. eleven. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Am I really going to do this? I'm just going to mash the keyboard. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Are you serious? All right. All right, here we go. <sighs> Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437? Where's 437? I didn't even see a 437. There's 427. I'll click on you. Oh. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Really? Wait, shit, what did he say? 415? I'm sorry about this, guys. I know we were gonna go check out that broom closet, but I'm invested now, you know? What do you say? 10 clicks? Let's go! Now, back to door number 437. Oh my god, you bastard! Here I thought it was gonna be 5 clicks for an easy achievement. Okay, let's, let's go. see. How about you click on, well, I don't know. The copy machine. Listen, you turd. Where's there a copy machine? There you are. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. You're an asshole. And all this time, Chris is just chilling in the freaking boom. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. I can't. I can't jump. What? Help me. Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Yes, let's go. I'm fucking stoked on this now. Yeah, door 416. We've let's almost go. got it! Uh, now the copy machine, do that one again! This guy's about to bust a nut. Let's go. Yeah, copy machine. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Wow. I feel like a coke addict right now. Let's go! Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. Oh. That's all amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Whew. Man, that was an experience. I am... I feel fantastic. That achievement, that's some hard work right there. Right now, about that broom closet. Do, 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 do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
Yes, I did. Yet there was not a single person here either. No Feeling no a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, my mortal nemesis. Chris, are you Stanley here? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, I didn't. Why can't I do anything with you? What about you? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I don't trust you. There's a wrench. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Oh, just say fuck all. Why can't I just play with the tools? Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm... I'm genuinely confused. Don't patronize me, narrator. I do what I want. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. If that were true, Chris wouldn't have been stuck in here. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your <laughs> friends find this concerning. What do you think, guys? Do you find this concerning? You're all my friends. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really Whoa. stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Oh. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Whoa there, male GLaDOS. Well, personal. I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. I'm dead? You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I'm not going to do it. No, you've patronized me too much. I will live and die in this broom closet. Is that it? Is there no more? I'm gonna feel like a real ass if there's no more. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should I leave the broom closet? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. I have this weird feeling I should go back in that broom closet. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. This is the story. This broom closet has so many memories. That time Chris got stuck in here. He married this broom. 
Nancy. They had a good life together. Until he left. Until they all leave. One day, you'll find the right guy, Broom. Okay, Nancy. I think it's time for me to go. I love you. I just, I have this affection for this broom closet now. I just, I can't help it. Uh, I heard there was a broom closet ending. I apparently have no idea how to get it. So, I think that's it for that one. Alright. Coming to a staircase, Stanley yeah. walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here, because I think I've taken up a lot of time with that broom closet. So, uh, see you back next time. Maybe I'll go down the stairs. Maybe I'll go up the stairs. The choice is mine.